Welcome back, Fragrance Family. It's your friendly neighborhood humble collector, and I am guilty of something. I'm guilty of neglecting part of my audience. I'll admit it, okay? I pride myself on the fact that I don't believe in women's fragrances or men's fragrances. To me, any kind of fragrance is, is, is unisex fragrance, okay? Uh, just because it has for men or for women on it uh, doesn't mean that it should be just for men or it should be just for uh, women, okay? So, um, yeah, I've been neglecting the ladies lately. Uh, I've been, uh, I haven't reviewed too many perfumes. And I, well, that's because I wanted my first official perfume review to be on a certain fragrance that I got my nose on about a year and a half ago, okay? And every time that I've gone to look for it, it hasn't been there, you know? And today, I lucked out, man, okay? So this is my first review of a women's fragrance, so-called women's fragrance uh, perfume, and um, okay, so Sophia by Sophia Vergara. Yes, I know a celebrity fragrance. That bottle is so awesome, very classy. The only thing I don't like is the top itself, flimsy. You know, come off easily. I had this in my bag when I took it to work because I went because I wore it today to test it out and to to get uh, the uh, reaction from the from the ladies at work. You know, they love this. By the way, they're mad. They were mad at me that I was the one that bought the only bottle that they that we had. <laughs> I'm sorry, but you know. When you go to uh, certain stores, you know, you, uh, you know, you first come, first serve, man, you know? <laughs> okay, so Sophia was released in 2014. It's a fruity, woody, sweet, powdery, vanilla fragrance. Top notes include blackberry and plum. Mid notes include rose, orchard, and, and uh, violet. And bottom notes include woody notes, sandalwood, and vetiver. So, upon first spray, the spray, the sprayer, mm, good amount of good amount of juice, man. Upon the first spray, you get that blackberry, man. That blackberry mixed in with a little bit of that rose, you know? Uh, and then on the dry down is when the sandalwood and the vanilla mix well together to make a beautiful fragrance, man. Any woman would love this fragrance. I had my co-workers at the department store that I work at um, test this. I, sh I, I should have got them on camera, but we were so busy today. Uh, we were so busy today that, you know, we just didn't have time for that. Uh, but I do want to get their, re but I did get their reaction and they loved it. Uh, they said that it was still performing after three, after four hours, you know. And on my skin, it was radiating, you know, uh, when I, when I sprayed it, I sprayed it, uh, right, like an hour before I went to work, and that was around 5, 30, 6 o'clock, so, I never had to recharge, I, ne I never had to recharge, so, uh, yeah, it's longevity, I give it 7 to 8 hours, for a perfume, you know, awesome awesome 
projection, I got three and a half hours. It kept projecting, you know, it kept projecting. I kept smelling it and smelling it and smelling it. And then it just kept on going, you know. It was like, hey, I'm still here. Pay attention to me, you know. Just like a needy person would be. <laughs> um, one of the customers, when I was uh, waiting on them today, said, what is, you know, you smell really good. What is that? And I said, well, it's a... Uh, it's a celebrity fragrance. It's uh, Sophia by Sophia Vergara. If y'all want to know what the box, the way, what the box looks like, this is the box right here. You know, very beautiful. Uh, she is very beautiful. <laughs> you know, um, and the bottle itself is very classy and very beautiful, man. Hmm. Like I said, the top, uh, I, could do, I could do without the top. Uh, this fragrance is beautiful, you know. And, um, ladies, it's awesome. Just go out and test this. If you see it in whatever supermarket you're at, or at a, if you're at a Ross, or at a TJ Maxx, or at a Target, or something, pick it up. Because it is very awesome. <laughs> so, what is my rating on it? <laughs> I give it a 4.5, man. It's got projection. Beautiful. Longevity is awesome. The packaging is... Uh, goes right with the beauty of Miss Vergara. And, um, the only thing I don't like is the top itself, but, you know, I mean, it, how important is that, you know, really? So, um, yeah. Uh, this was released in 2014. I don't, I don't remember, I, I, I can't remember if I told you that, I'm sorry about that. But, yeah, the packaging and the bottle itself and the fragrance itself makes for a very beautiful uh, perfume. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you're looking, and gentlemen, if you're looking for something like for Mother's Day or let's say for, um, for their birthday or just to be, you know, just to get on the good side, you know, of life, you know, what's the saying? Happy wife, happy life, you know? <laughs> So, Sophia by Sophia Vigera, 4.5, and mm, I can't get enough of it, man. I think I'll wear this again tomorrow. <laughs> okay, so that's my review for today. Uh, thank you for being so patient, ladies. Uh, I didn't forget about y'all. It's just that, you know, with so many of the men's fragrances out there, so-called men's fragrances out there, you know, I I lose track of what I what I'm gonna review and and then I get excited about reviewing certain other things. Okay, but I didn't forget about y'all. Uh, I will have more perfumes um, reviewing uh, reviews. So that's I'm the humble collector. Uh, like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below if you love these videos. Thank you so much. For my humble crowd who keeps coming back and coming back and coming back for more. Okay? This is Sophia by Sophia Vigera. I am the humble collector. That's the truth. And I'm sticking to it.